Hi, welcome to this management science tutorial. In this tutorial we would like to find out whether a certain product sells better than another one. So the question which we like to be answered is will you buy Coke Z rather than Coke R? We have done a marketing survey which led to the following results. So 300 people strongly agree that they would rather buy Coke Z than Coke R, etc. What we will do is we will determine the total number of participants, compute the relative frequency, determine the cumulative uh, probability to actually make an answer of how many people have agreed to buy Coke set. And we are going to visualize these probabilities. So first we are going to put that all into Excel. So we have got a marketing survey which has five categories. C, D, E the first one means strongly agree agree neither agree or disagree disagree strongly disagree good we're going to resize the columns now the figures so we have got 300 people strongly agreeing, 600 participants agreeing, 1,500 are undecided, and 450 disagree and 150 strongly disagree. So that's our number, and that's the answer which we received, and that's the number of participants. The question would be better to have as well in Excel. Good. So first we'd like to figure out how many people actually how many people have participated so we are just going to use the total sum so equals sum of those answers so we had 3000 participants um, good let's just format that a little bit better into the uh, normal number style. So, what is the relative frequency? Frequency. That's simply the 300 divided by the 3000. Now we are going to fix the cell so that we can actually replicate that formula easily. So I'm going to press the F4 key. So now we have fixed the cell. Since this is a marketing survey, I'm usually very interested in the percentage. So that means I'll just take this number and we'll reformat that into a percentage. Good. The relative frequency is also called objective probability. The cumulative probability is simply is computed as follows. So the first value is going to stay the same and the second 
is just the previous value plus the new value and now I can use this black square the, the square here and duplicate the formula so we've got the same formula in here okay by the way the cell fixation also ensured that enough that d9 always stays at the same place so if I go to the next cell d9 stays at the same place so far so good the cumulative probability adds up to 1 which is good uh, cumulative percentage is obviously just a, a formatting of the cell and again we'll take the percentage so that's a major computational work now we would like to visualize the percentage of the answers let's have a look at that so how do we visualize that these are categories so a pie chart is something which we should take into consideration so I'm going to go to the insert ribbon and consider pie charts another alternative if there are more many categories then you should use a bar chart okay pie chart so I want to display the percentages or the relative frequencies and if I'm using a scientific presentation I'm going to go for a two-dimensional graph if I'm going to go for a marketing presentation I'm going to use a three-dimensional graph so I'm going to go for a marketing presentation <coughs> so I uh, got a graph so it's now a good habit actually to display this graph in a separate sheet so to keep the computation and the visualization separated so you can easily achieve that by clicking on the graph not on the chart on the graph um, yeah. okay the whole chart and move the chart to a new sheet chart market okay so we have got now a new market we should also always name this uh, the, the sheets it's a good habit market analysis good so I'm going to rename that to market analysis the text obviously is a bit small so I'm going to go to the home ribbon increase the font size obviously we would uh, like to know what's going on so in the design you can have some quick layouts so we would like to have the percentage and the label again we would like to actually see that and read that so we are going to increase the font good and also manipulate individual components and here we go we could also change the color scheme to something slightly different and we have got a first graph which we can put into a presentation which tells us clearly that 20% of the people agree 10% strongly agree so we could already say 30% would definitely buy this new coke rather than the old one <coughs> and there is also a, a quite a big proportion, 50% of people who might actually buy this new Coke. So for sure, 
we can immediately say this is 30%. We could of course now go back and use the cumulative distribution and see it as well, the 30%, so it's added up for us. So this isn't particularly useful if you have more categories or if you have several combining factors. <coughs> Good. How do we actually display the cumulative distribution? So first of all, we notice the categories. Are they really equidistant? We can't really say that, but let's assume they are. So then we can put them into a graph, insert a line chart. So let's have a nice beautiful line chart. Obviously we don't want to have that on 120 because there is only 100%. Again, as mentioned previously, you should always move that into a new chart. Chart. Um, cumulative distribution here we go font is not um, not not too good so let's increase the font everywhere let's change the design again Oops, now I have to resize the font again. And this one should enable us to quickly decide which category, uh, how many people are going to buy the coke so we should be able to read immediately that 30 percent are going to purchase the coke the coke set um, up to 80 percent so we have figured out how to do a market analysis We quickly created a table. Obviously, we could format that table in a nicer, more appealing way if we want to actually put it into a presentation as well. So, format this table. If we want to get rid of the filter, just uh, format it back to a range. So we have figured out the relative frequencies, determined the cumulative probability, transformed it all into percentages, displayed the graphs, the, the different answers, and also used the cumulative percentage, the cumulative distribution, for decision making. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm looking forward to seeing you to the next one.